yo my noble family welcome to today's tutorial today i'll be teaching you how i made this airpiece this fascinator thanks for joining us and to make that airpiece i'll be needing my crinoline the big one my fascinator base um alice band the big one i'll be needing the crinoline the small pleated one also I'll be needing my petals for embellishment. This is petals. You can use it for embellishment. We use it for bridal and fan. We use it for um, for fascinators and all other. It is just used to beautify my thread. I'll be needing um, fishing line. Then this is uh, my scissors and my candle gum. Then I'll be needing um, needle with my fishing line in it. So let uh, my tape measure also. So let's get started. Thanks for joining us, Noble Creations Online. So to make that, I'll be measuring my crinoline, line, the big one. I'll be measuring uh, 40 inches out of the big one. So the big pleated um, crino line. You can as well use the ones, the ordinary crino line that is not pleated. But this is more beautiful and I decided to use this for that air piece fascinator. So I measured 40 inches. Then I will cut it out. I will cut it out with my scissors. Then after cutting, I will secure the both edge of those crinoline lines so that you know crinoline line do frills, so that it won't frill out. So I will gather it, then I will secure it with my thread. See how I did that? I gathered the edges, I folded it together, I squeezed them. I squeeze it rather than I tied with my thread, a matching thread, a matching thread color. I tied with it. You can see that. I so you can see I tie very well. I make sure it's well tied. You see, then I will cut the excess. Then that's what I did to the other hedge too. I tied it and I make sure it's very tight so that it will not frill as I continue. Thanks for joining us. You can see now, this is the crinoline. line. Then I will run a gather stitch at the middle. That is what I did. I just gathered from the edge where I tied. Then I run a gather stitch from the middle downwards. Thanks for joining us, my noble family. You can, you can um, join us on Instagram at Noble Creations. The creations there is K. Then you can also um, chat and ask questions with us on the 07069415266. Thanks for joining us. So after I run this uh, gather stitch, I will pull together. You can see I did that to the fishing line. I inserted the fishing line into the needle instead of using thread. So I will gather together. You see what I did here? That is what I'm trying to do. I run the gather stitch in between the crinoline line then I'm gathering it together now. I holding it from the middle where I run the um, running stitches. Thanks for joining house. You can see this is what I have with me. Then I will, I will reverse the needle. I will reverse the needle so as to secure so as to secure what I've gathered together. Thanks for watching. You can see can see please if not if you have not subscribed to this channel please do that so as to encourage us to do more videos you can also ask questions you can show us design you know at times you run out of ideas but when you have any new designs trendy designs that you want me to do for you on this channel you can just drop the video thanks for joining us please give us a thumbs up like this video share this video and um, subscribe if you have not done that thank you very much then i've reversed the need the needle so now i'm tying after i did that i make sure i cut off the needle then i will tie it off thanks for watching continue watching it is self-explanatory and i'm sure you
after I've attached the crinoline line to the base so I'm trying to pick one one I'll pick one of the layers from the right and from the re um, from the left and I gather at the center that is what I'm trying to do now just to make it um, pop up a little you know if I don't do that it won't pop up it will be relaxing one will be on the left and the other will be on the right so that is what I'm doing here I will pick one from the left pick one from the right then at the center I try to push it up a little just to form um, a beautiful shape you see what I'm doing now I've pressed one of the layers from the right and the other from the left together and I gathered so I picked this you can see now I left some to relax I picked some like if I pick one I will leave the, the other I pick the next one I leave the other that is what I simply did there I cut off the needle then I tie you see what I have here is this piece not beautiful can you see so what I will do next I'll pick another you can see just design be creative about it you understand just design you can fix something more beautiful than this you see what I did so now I gathered them to see how it's gonna appear and when I gathered it I saw it's it will come out too well then I picked my um, needle and my uh, my fishing line then I gather it together then I will tie thanks for watching it is self-explanatory but I need to come in here to explain what I basically did there picked the little the small crinoline. line I just um, gathered to make like the double bow I didn't actually measure that I just fixed something like a double bow and I just um, cut off when I know I'm satisfied that is what I basically did here but let's now measure after cutting I now decide to measure for clarity's sake that is what I'm doing here now I measured you can see so I measured and it gave me um, 13 inches so I folded together I made a double bow out of it then I will be tying you saw what I did there I just created the bow then I made it double then I'll be securing with my needle and my fishing line you can see I run at the center I run the gather stitch then I'll just pull out I will secure I will return it back so as to secure it then I'll tie I'll tie at the center so as to secure it very well. That's what I did. See now? So I'll tie it. Thanks for watching. For your questions and inquiries, you can call 070 694 So I have double, you know, I cut two. So I have one. I'll be placing one right there, as you can see. I will attach it to the cap, to the um, fascinator base. That is an already made fascinator base. I got it like that. 
So if you need your fascinator base, we sell um, mat we sell fascinator materials. We sell the base, we sell crinoline, and they are affordable. We sell for wholesaler if you are an wholesaler or you wish to venture into the business. We sell crinoline, feathers, fascinator base, molds, um, stiffener as you want it. We sell them. So you can just chat us up at um, 07069 We deliver nationwide, so you don't have a problem about delivery. So, I will be placing the other one right there, the other um, trino line, that is where I will be fixing it. Then I will use my um, fishing line and needle AK. Thanks for watching. So fam, what is next for us today is embellishments. We try to make it beautiful. I'll be using these pearls. This is called the uh, Messi Aigbe pearls. <laughs> you know, Messi Aigbe was the first person um, um, seen with it on social media. It was a picture that trend, that first trend with these um, beautiful pearls. Then I'll be using these petals for embellishment as well. I will use feathers too. You just have to be creative about it. You don't need to follow my designs. You can just create something, create a rose, create something, make something beautiful. You understand? And I'm sure it will come out well. Fascinate, the craft of fascinator has to do about creativity. You understand? Just think of something and I'm telling you to come out beautiful. So now I'm using these petals. I want to use these petals to create uh, a rose. I will create a rose with it. Then I will embellish with it. See now, this is what I did. I embellished with my gun, gun, hot gun. I embellished with the petals, with the pearls, the messy Igbe pearls. It's been called here. Then I will now create um, like a rose with my petals. So at this edge, I will just add some little glue. Then I will place it there, right there. Make sure it's stiffs, it gets gold. Then I will take another one. That's how I'll be doing, 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 doing. So I will, I will, I will repeat that process. I will create something beautiful. I'll look for where I can place it again. Then just to come out with a beautiful thing. So, friends, keep watching. And I know it's self-explanatory. Then you have a whole lot to learn. Please do subscribe to this channel if you've not done that. I encourage Mama Noble to make more beautiful videos for you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for watching. I need your thumbs up. Like this video. Please and please do share this video. Thanks for watching.
I did here was that I took feathers, two or three feathers. I'll try and make them um, separate to, to stand separately. Then I will tie with um, thread, a matching color of thread. Then I will make sure I tie it very tight. You understand? Like if you, you can pick like three, two, three feathers together, let them face, let one face the right. The other let the face the left or let them stand together facing the same direction but they will be separate mm -hmm. you understand so that's the concept of what i just did here so i will just you can do as many as possible tie them up like you see what i'm trying to do trying to make it face where the direction i wish it faces so if you just tie together to secure it then i tie tightly because i'm going i'm going to use this too to embellish my fascinator just to add some glamour to it you understand paparazzi just to make it beautiful you see so i have two or three different um, feathers so now i'll be placing i'll just look for where it's gonna stand i'll be testing it on my fascinator like if i put it here is it gonna be beautiful see what i'm trying to find out so it's creativity just try and you see just decide okay let me just fix it somewhere and see how it's gonna appear before I add my um hot gun, hot um, glue to it. Candy glue. So that's what I did. You see, I just try and view it. If I'm not satisfied with it, I just pick it up from there, put it in another um hole, or just create at another place. Then check it out. Is it beautiful? And if it's beautiful, that is what I will just do. You see what I did there? I had the candy glue. The gum gum i had it to one side then the other side where i feel where i felt it to come out beautiful that's what i did there too so i wait for it to get cold <coughs> see you see how you can see that's what i did so i'll make sure i wait for it to get cold so that the glue will be able to it will be well placed on it so now what is remaining for me to do is just to add my alice band to the loop sorry i forgot to tell you i attached the loop i just look for a piece of thick fabric you see it has not dried up that was why it was trying to it was pulling out so now i just look for a thick fabric i i did a round shape i attached with a candle glue under it so that all the rough work of the um, needle and thread or needle and fishing line I will just cover with that piece, then I will just fix in my... Alice.